Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will draw this basin for cat using these dimensions. So here we create new file. Go to part design or bench. Create body, create sketch in wise plane. And here we go to sketch geometries and select four line tool. And now through the sketch. Press them three times and we get this arc two times. Okay. So in this model we can see that we have we have this dimension 165, 50, and we have this this eight, sixteen. In 27 and here we have this dimension so we come back to this model and select this ver this horizontal distance tool and here we set 50 and here 165 and now we select this vertical distance tool and here we select this point in this origin point 36 okay and here we change to 16 and now we have to constrain this arc to this line so we select this tangent constraint tool and select this arc and this line and now select this vertical distance tool and change this length to 27 Okay, and now we can see that this this circle have a diameter of fifty. So here we select this tool, select this arc, and here we change the radius to twenty-five. And now we constrain this point to this origin point, vertical constraint, and you can see that the sketch is full constrained. So close this sketch. Press on and go to pet tool and here we set cement to plane and here in this model we can see that the pad is 56 so here we change to this dimension and click OK and now we create a new sketch in this face clicking this icon Okay, and here we use this tool to extract this edge and now uh, use this load tool to draw this sketch. Select this arc tool and draw this arcs. Okay, and now we select this Train tool and train this line and this line. Use this tangent constraint to constrain these arcs. So, okay, now we will give dimensions to this sketch. So, in this model, we can see that we can see this distance. This radius 15. So we come back to this ring and we select this vertical distance tool. And here we set 75. Constrain vertically this line. Select this tool, select this arc, and change the radius to 15. Okay. And now what is missing is to constrain this point to this point and now we make this this arc equal to this arc so we can see that the sketch is now full constrained so we close the sketch and go to pad tool and here we check this option reverse it and the pad of this sketch we can see that this 
10. So we click OK. Yes. And now we select this face. Create sketch. And here you use this tool to extract this edge. Use this arc tool to draw these arcs. And now we select this tangent tool constraint and constraint these arcs. So, okay, now we use this tool and extract this edge. And here we select this equal constraint and select this arc and this arc. And now select these two points and click in this icon and make it constant. And now select this horizontal constraint and constraint these two points. Close this sketch and here we go to pad tool. And we can see that the, the pad of this sketch is 5. Click OK. And now we will create sketch in YZ plane. And here we use this tool to extract this edge. Switch to section view. And here select this cycle tool. And draw this cycle. Close this sketch. And here we go to Pad Tool, check this option, Symmetric to Plane, and here we can see that the pad of this cycle is, is 66. So click OK. And now select this face, create a new sketch. And here we use this tool to extract this edge, and here use this cycle tool to do the cycle and in this model we can see that the diameter of the cycles is 12 so we come back and select this tool click in this arc and we set 12 close the sketch go to pocket tool and here we set triangle click ok now go to model, select this last operation, and here we go to polar pattern tool. Okay, and here in the angle we set 90. And here the number of occurrence is is four. One, two, three, four. Change to four. And here we go to axis and here we go to select reference and we select this edge. Check this reverse duration option and you see these four pockets and now click OK. Now select this face and go to all the, to this feature. Change here to triangle and the diameter to 25 click OK and get this wall and now select this face click new sketch resize this window so here we select this cycle tool and draw these cycles switch to section view Select this tool and make these cycles equal. In this model, we can see that the diameter of the cycles is 16. So we select this tool, change the diameter to 16. We set these two points merge to this line. Extract this edge. And the horizontal distance will be 25. Click close. And now we go to pocket tool. We change the type to triangle and check this symmetric 
to play in the option and click OK. So now we get this. And now we can do this show for operation. So we select this edge in this edge and you go to this tool chamfer tool and here we set two millimeters and click OK. So yes this PC is finished. Thank you for watching this video.